but let's go check it out. Let's see how these eggs were packed and put together. Hopefully they're good. Hopefully they're not broken. Hopefully there's 10 eggs inside of there. Heck yeah, that guy, he knows what he was doing. Hey, look at this, look how good he bubbled this thing up so that nothing could happen to these eggs. All right, you guys, welcome back to Blicked Exotic Animal Ranch. Today, as you guys saw in the thumbnail and in the title, we are getting turkey eggs getting delivered from the UPS or FedEx, I'm not 100% sure, and I just saw the delivery tracking thing on my phone, and they said it's on the way right now. But we have a few things to get done here on the ranch, and we gotta go feed the goats first because it's early morning here, so we're gonna go do that right now and wait for these eggs to get here and open them up, and hopefully they're not broken, hopefully they're good, and then we can put them inside of an incubator. It's gonna be really, really awesome to hatch out some of our turkeys here for the ranch. But um, first off, let's go feed the goats, and um, I'm gonna meet you over there by the hay. We're inside of the goat area. Thank you, Sunshine, for that little pea spot right there. Everybody's here, everybody is doing great, everybody is happy. So it's time to feed, so let's grab some hay, you guys. All right, be nice to each other sometimes. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some hay, we got out my shin. All right, you guys, Snickers, come on, you guys. Right. Look at all this hay we got in here, you guys. We got a lot of hay that I got delivered, well, that I sacked up. All right, we got this one right here. We got, oh my God, the kids are going crazy. Come on, kids. Come outside. We got fresh hay over here. Come on. But you guys know the process of the ranch. Every single day, everybody gets to get fed. It's just like other, all the other animals, everybody gets fed every single day. Everybody always eats. Look at Moors. <laughs> Moors is beautiful. And the one really, really bad thing about hay and the farm life here for me is that I am deadly allergic to hay. So all these smells, I'm really thinking, you guys might think it's weird, but you guys see the people that put the mask over their faces, low key, low key, I might have to start doing that because this stuff really beats me up in the mornings and it just, I can't breathe, like it's bad. So I'm probably gonna have to do that. So if you guys ever see videos of that, that's the reason why, because I can't deal with this smell in here. It smells awesome, but my nose, body cannot take it. This hay is good. It's breaking up a lot this time. Whatever. We're gonna do some cleaning soon. Always different things to do here on the ranch. We give some to Moors. Moors is nice and patiently and waiting. Right, Moors? I know, food's coming, 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 coming. Moors, but one second before we do that, look right over there. You guys see all the birds? Those are all my poultry and waterfowl right now. So that is the reason way back in the day I had a lot more different types of poultry and waterfowl, peacocks, turkeys, all those things. Well, I'm thinking I want to do all the back again. So that's why we purchased the turkey eggs and hopefully they're nice and good. We purchased 10 eggs. So that's gonna be really, really awesome. We're not gonna keep them all. I'm coming, Moors, I'm coming. Look at her stretching. I'm coming, Moors, I got you, girl. All right, back up, back up, back up, back up. Here. There you go, girl. Awesome. All right, so the eggs should be coming very soon. All right, so we're gonna go feed some other stuff right now, you guys. What's up? What? The package is here? Yeah. The eggs? Yeah. Say no more. Let's go. Let's go get these eggs, you guys. All right, so truck's gone. My buddy Jordan said the box is here, and the gate was open. So when the gate is open, they put it over there on the thing, and I can see the eggs from here. So let's go check it out. Let's see how these eggs were packed and put together. Hopefully, they're good. Hopefully, they're not broken. Hopefully, there's 10 eggs inside of there. So we'll have a higher percentage or a higher chance that we'll have more things to hatch out because during the whole process of coming shipped and all those things, I know things will probably break and they probably won't do good. They'll go get bad from getting too much shook in and stuff of that sort. So um, let's go check out these eggs. And then what we're gonna have to do, you guys, is there's one problem. You guys know we had a barn fire. The barn fire, I lost everything. I don't have an incubator right now. So my buddy down the street, he has his own ranch as well. And he has a very, very large incubator. It's gorgeous, it's awesome. You put like hundreds of eggs in there. So what we're gonna do is, if these eggs are good, we gotta check them out real quick. We're gonna call him up and we're gonna go over there and we're gonna put those eggs inside his incubator and he'll give us a call once they are ready to hatch. So it's gonna be really awesome to have baby turkeys here on the ranch to raise up and show you all the baby turkeys raising up and all that stuff. One also cool thing, if you guys ever seen royal palm turkeys, I'm gonna show you a little picture of one right now. Royal palm turkeys are absolutely beautiful. They're black and white turkeys. That's the species that I've purchased and they should be all royal palm turkeys when they hatch out. But uh, let's open these up right now. Well. There it is, all right. Came from somewhere in North Florida. Eggs fragile. It's in a UPS post office box. Pretty awesome. I've purchased live turkeys before as well. And uh, chickens and peacocks and guinea fowl offline. It's really, really cool. You can do all those things online and they come right in the mail. And when you go into the post office and you're there, you hear chirping, chirp, 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 all freaking morning. And people are like, yo, get these things out of here. They're like, oh, these are yours? Thank God. Because all day they're all tripping in there. But um, these are eggs. Obviously, they don't make noises. So let's open these up, you guys. 
Got my little knife, so we're gonna open these thing up. We're gonna, there you go. Fragile eggs, so you know, yep, fragile eggs. There you go, there you go, all right. Perfect, all righty, so let's see. What the heck, speckled quail. Why would it say that? Speckled quail? I don't know, it's supposed to be turkey eggs. But, um, oh, never mind, they're turkey eggs. All right, cool, 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 cool. Well, one good thing, it doesn't smell, so that's freaking a plus right there. And I don't see yolk anywhere. And the guy that put these together definitely did a good job. Bubble wrap the whole thing. And individually, I see right here, he, um, hold on. Let me open this real quick. Maybe not. He individually put each egg in their own little circle of thingy. Look at that. And he, look at this. He freaking, there you go. Look at that. Each one. So he has one, two, three, four, five, six. Heck yeah, that guy, he knows what he was doing. Hey, look at this, look how good he bubbled this thing up so that nothing can happen to these eggs. And then, yup, look at this, turkey egg. That is so cool. I used to have these guys way back then. I used to find the turkey eggs and hatch them myself here on the ranch as well. But um, awesome, we got turkey eggs, you guys. So um, let's undo them all, and then we're gonna go to my buddy's house and put them inside his incubator. Look at this, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six eggs right here. Heck yeah. Turkey baby. Beautiful eggs. All right. Yeah, I packed them freaking good. Oh, that was a little sandy one. Says he has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of hens. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll be able to go to this facility and see all the turkeys he has. I think that'd be really, really cool. I'm gonna call the guy up, maybe try to make a plan up or something, and maybe go, go collab at his place and see all his turkeys in the whole facility in his ranch as well. I think that'd be really awesome. But um, so we got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Awesome. He gave me a dozen eggs. It's pretty awesome. So in about 28 days, the eggs are going to be put into the incubator today. 28 days it takes for these guys to hatch out. So um, in about nine days, we'll know if they're good, if they're fertile and things of that sort. And if they're not, he said he'll uh, send me a few more eggs so we can do it all again on our own. But um, we're definitely going to have some royal palm turkeys very, very soon. So let's head to my buddy's house and go put these and place these inside of his incubator. All right, you guys, we are on the way to my buddy's house right now to go incubate these eggs. And for today's post notification shout out is going to Danny Wu. It says, I really like your choice of stingrays. You chose one with a lot of character. Scarface, what a good name. Keep up the good work. And can't wait to see the new barn build. I cannot wait for that either. You guys put a positive comment down below to get the chance to get shouted out on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. And um, yeah, make sure. You guys give this video a thumbs up because I know this video is gonna be really, really awesome. And you guys should be able to make this at least 5,000 likes without a problem. And we're on the way to over 350,000 subscribers. I mean, we're flying, you guys. This is awesome, it's amazing. But um, let's get to my buddy's house and put these eggs in the incubator. All right, you guys, we just got here to my buddy's house. And this right here is his incubator. So we're gonna open this thing up. There you go. Look at this. This thing is at temp at for 99.5 degrees. So it is perfect and there are a bunch of stuff in here already. There's things already hatching. There's a chick right here that's already hatching that he has. So, so cool. But this tray right here is what we're gonna use. He has turkey eggs already that are right here. And we're gonna put the rest of the eggs on here. So I'm gonna explain and put everything on here for you guys. Close that up. So we have the 12 eggs and we're gonna put them all right here, inside of here. So one thing you have to do with the turkey eggs is they have to be bubbled up. The, the butt side has to be up so that they get more air because when they hatch out, it takes almost two to three days until they hatch and they start pipping. And I'm gonna show you one that is there that is hatching as well because they start, once they start hatching, they start breaking the egg out from the top right here. And that's the way that they're able to hatch. There we go. That's a small little egg. This one's freaking weird. Awesome, look at this you guys. Whole tray of eggs that we're gonna put in here. Hopefully they hatch out and it's gonna be really, really awesome. There you go, there you go. Look at that you guys, 12 perfect eggs. Perfect, awesome, we got them all lined up right there. So we're gonna put them inside of the incubator. Let's do this you guys. There you go, 
and there's water right there for the humidity and everything and if you guys see this thing can hold a lot a lot a lot of eggs and the trays move very very slowly throughout the whole day so that they don't get stuck because if you don't turn the eggs the baby will get stuck to the side of the uh, egg and it'll die so it has to be always turning for these seven eggs that in right there and then a really cool thing there's actually a turkey hatching right now it's been pipping now for about one day and I'm going to show you guys we're going to bring it into the bathroom and right here look at this it has a little hole right there. That little hole is him breathing already. He's already starting to breathe and he's just taking his time. In about 24 hours or so, it'll start cracking all the way around like a uh, can and it'll pop right out and it'll be out and be ready to start drying up and that's where they go and they dry up right there. So we're gonna come over here and watch this. Come over here. Put the light on it. And you guys see, you can see the hole very well. And then if I move it this way, I don't know if you can see it or not. If you see that little shower moving right there, that's him. He's alive and he's breathing without a problem. He's probably going to be able to hatch out in the next couple of times. But see how it's all dark? All dark is that's the body of the turkey. And then he is inside of there. That's a little baby turkey. That is so, look at that. Look, 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 look. You guys see that? That's him right there. That is so cool. He's going to be coming out very, very soon. That's so, so awesome. But um, 28 days, that's how long this guy's been inside the incubator for. 28 days, and that's how long the thing's gonna be inside the incubator for, and then they start hatching out. So let's put this bad boy back in right here. And then he's gonna start hatching. Look at that, it's so awesome. He has so many different things. Look at this, this is a, a goose egg. About to start hatching. It's so awesome, he hatches so many different things here on his ranch as well. But um, there you go, you guys. They are in the incubator now. Now they sit here for 28 days, and he'll let me know how they are looking, and we maybe come back and get a little update video soon. But let's lock this bad boy up. There we go, there we go. So, perfect, eggs are in, everything's good. We're gonna head back to the ranch, and um, yeah, let's do it, you guys. All right, you guys, we are back here on the ranch. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, showing you guys the eggs, putting the eggs in the incubator, all of those cool things. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in an update video with those eggs. Hopefully they are fertile. I'll see you guys later, and peace out, everybody. Woo!